360 degree media from consumer devices continues to grow in popularity while standalone virtual reality hardware proceeds to lack compelling and user-friendly solutions to view it. The 360 Media Player was developed in an effort to solve this and many of the challenges faced when attempting to view your own 360 files. Today, the most popular suggestions to do this on YouTube for a MetaQuest headset involve downloading the files to the device and viewing them through an installed media player. This process can require a lot of maintenance. Every time you want to view new photos, you have to plug in your headset, put it on to accept the connection, take it off, wait patiently while it downloads your new files, only to disconnect and find them again in another file explorer from within the headset. This problem is further exacerbated by how large 360 photos and videos can be compared to how small the storage is on base model headsets. The 360 Media Player negates the need to download files by actively streaming them to your device over an encrypted connection. This saves you from all of the potential wait time. And further, it preserves your headset's storage. Instead of duplicating these large files in both spaces, they remain stored only on the personal computer. Once installed and running on your personal computer, the 360 Media Player becomes accessible to other devices across your network. Any virtual reality device with access to certain popular web browsers should be able to use the 360 Media Player. This includes standalone headsets like the MetaQuest using its pre-installed web browser, or even wired headsets like the Valve Index using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Once the 360 Media Player is downloaded, you just need to run the installer and start it up. Then select the folder with the media you want to view. You'll visit the address in your headset, and voila, you are viewing your 360 files. Future viewings become much easier too. All you have to do to view newly downloaded files is run the software and access the site. This should save you from those long downloads and keep the space in your headset free for whatever else you would like to fill it with. All of this runs on your local network. Even if you upgrade your headset, you won't need to wait through another long download process. All you need to do is start the 360 Media Player and connect to view your files again. The link to download the 360 Media Player is found in the description. A detailed installation walkthrough may also be found there. I hope the 360 Media Player may save you time and improve your experience. Have a great day and thank you for stopping by.